How is thalassemia treated today? Well, as I said, thalassemia trait per se does not require uh, treatment. But I'm talking about the actual disease. If uh, uh, patients have thalassemia minor, and here I have to digress for a second because when we talk about thalassemia, we really have to be uh, precise. There are two of them that are generally uh, we talk about. One is the so-called beta thalassemia, which also known as Mediterranean anemia because it affects uh, people from all over the Mediterranean uh, basin, uh, i.e. Uh, North Africa, Italy, Greece, uh, the Middle East, but uh, that genotype also extends into population uh, further uh, east, meaning uh, Pakistan, Bangladesh, uh, India, and uh, the, to, with some variation into uh, Indochina, what was used to be Indochina, I guess. Um, those, uh, so that's thalassemia bed, and that's actually when two individuals who are trades marry uh, and have children, each pregnancy has a 25% risk of having a child with thalassemia major. That's actually a serious illness, and it's an illness that gone untreated, uh, as in the old time, essentially uh, made this uh, uh, individual die within the first 10 years of life. Nowadays, uh, we treat them with transfusion, and with transfusion, their life expectancy has grown substantially. The problem that occurs with transfusion is the fact that uh, uh, with the blood, we also give excess iron, and that iron over time builds up in the body, and it becomes a uh, uh, significant poison, poisons uh, the uh, endocrine system, the liver, and more importantly, the heart. Is so, there a way of getting that iron out of the body? Yes, uh, as a matter of fact, for uh, a long time uh, we uh, only had one drug which was called Destrol needed to be given uh, under the skin essentially every day in order to prevent uh, this problem. Uh, just recently a second drug that is an oral uh, drug that gets rid of the iron in the body has just been approved here in the United States. and. Uh, most, of, if not all, of our uh, transfusion patients are now on it, and at least the initial impression that we have has been out for about a year in, in, a, in a, an approved fashion, is that it's very effective and uh, patients seem to tolerate and take it very what, well. What do you expect a lot to expect to see with that kind of a diagnosis? Hard to sell, uh, hard to say, but uh, most with Desferol, uh, patients with thalassemia have lived into their uh, 30, their 40s and beyond if well chelated. It is our expectation that with x jade actually that will go even further. The other uh, thing that should be noted about thalassemia is that thalassemia is not only treatable but it's potentially curable because bone marrow transplant has been proven and is an established um, way to essentially cure uh, people with, uh, with thalassemia. Uh, what percentage of kids with thalassemia, the true disease, end up with bone marrow transplants? Uh, well, until recently, the vast majority uh, of patients who could be transplanted were patients who actually had a sibling, that is, a brother or a sister, who was a perfect match or an acceptable uh, match for bone marrow transplant. Uh, the people expert in transplantation were not um, in favor of using uh, what's called unrelated uh, uh, donors, uh, that is donors that were obtained from the general population through a registry, uh, because of the risk benefits. Uh, transplantation though has improved over the last uh, two decades and recently there is at least uh, the thought that uh, unrelated donor could be used for uh, patients with thalassemia, which would open up the possibility of more uh, patients with thalassemia being transplanted. Um, it's a little hard to tell you what exactly the um, statistics are because uh, it depends on the size of the family each time there is a sibling, uh, there is a chance in four that that sibling is a, uh, uh, is a full match for that uh, particular uh, patient. So uh, it depends on the size of the family. So it's a disease that can be managed? It is a disease essentially that can be managed uh, and it's a disease that has a potential for cure. In addition, there is all kinds of studies that have been going on for a while 
that are even uh, thinking about the possibility of so-called uh, gene therapy, where essentially a new gene would be given to the patient who has this genetic problem uh, in the hope that that would treat it. I mean, I think that's still in the infancy, uh, and I think we have a way to go in that, uh, in that area. But the, uh, a patient with thalassemia who is well transfused and well chelated uh, has, a, uh, at this point in uh, our mind, a uh, life expectancy that is uh, uh, very good and has the potential for cure uh, through a bone marrow transplant if the, cir if the circumstances are right. Thank you, Dr. Ramey.